Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Elvia and I'm currently in my second year at Queen Mary University of London studying astrophysics. I made a video a while ago on personal statements and how to write a good one and application tips and the comment section was filled with your questions asking me for advice and applications, UCAS deadlines if it was too late to apply to a specific course and all that type of stuff so I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to film a video and answer all your burning questions. I am really really excited to say that this video is in partnership with Queen Mary University of London so I hope you guys really enjoy this video and hopefully your questions will be answered. When I was in my first year at university I made loads of student vlogs so if you want to watch any of those feel free to go through my channel and watch those videos after you've watched this one. So to give you guys more of an insight into the application process and also the process of what it's like at university I am collaborating with Jake Clark. I will leave his YouTube channel in the description box down below so you can check him out if you want to. And we're basically going to be having a chat with each other and talking about our experiences with applications and also just student life I guess. So if you're interested to see what we have to say give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any other videos and let's just get into it. Hi Avia, how are you doing? Hi Jake, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I think from today's interview we're going to get as much information as possible out of everyone and um, kind of go into the student life, things like combination, things like the course and just all of the kind of opportunities that are available to you. If you wouldn't mind starting off with kind of like a typical day in the life. Yeah, sure, okay. So I'm going to talk about a day that I would have had last year first. I am actually a commuting student so I travel from home to university. The transport links are really really great, I can literally get two trains that will take me right to university so it's quite efficient and quite smooth in that sense so that's usually how my day starts. I get to university and usually we've got a timetable scheduled in so most days that would consist of me having probably a lecture in the morning and then a tutorial class later on in the evening so a typical day is from about 9 to 5 but then I might also have some gaps to do private revision or just anything that I need to catch up on really. So usually we have four modules that we undertake each semester and for each module each week we have about three hours worth of lectures so teaching time and then in our tutorial sessions we can discuss the stuff that we've learned in lectures and yeah. apply our knowledge and answer some questions and usually in these sessions there's always a PhD student to guide us so we don't have to worry about being confused or stuck because we can always ask them for guidance and for help as well. This year because everything is online it's slightly different but it's kind of still the same. So most of our lectures are actually pre-recorded by our lecturers and we can watch them at our own paces which I think is really really beneficial because you don't have to race to write down everything that your lecturer is saying and <laughs> we do have some that are live as well so that's also great to have that interaction with your lecturer. Yeah, yeah so it seems like the days that you have are quite busy and like packed with all of the lectures and going out with friends, seeing people. But I know at a lot of academic universities, especially in London, it can be quite a challenge to balance the academics with the social life and things like that. Do you find you kind of have that opportunity or that balance between play and work? Yeah, that was actually one of the questions I had in mind when I was applying for university as well because the jump from sixth form to university is so huge and I really wanted to make sure I had time to do everything I wanted and Queen Mary is a Russell Group University and that means we have cutting edge facilities to do lots of research with and actually as a physicist we have labs um, we have computer labs and we've also got labs where we perform our practicals. To balance work and social life is actually a lot easier than it may seem to be because Queen Mary have so many societies available for you to join and you can check out all of them during Freshers Week which is how I found about loads of societies that I didn't even know Queen Mary offered. So the one that I went to last year and I'm still part of now is Queen Mary Archery Society and it's great because you can meet people outside of your course and you can also take time to relax and do extracurricular activities and one of the things that I did last year was compete as well for Queen Mary so I went to a few competitions at Imperial College London and competed with other universities as well. Also another really great thing about Queen Mary is that there's actually lots of restaurants and student lifestyle type of places very very near to the campus itself so there's a cinema that literally everyone goes to, there's also like Nando's, Costa, Starbucks, literally 
everything that you need is literally within a walking distance. So many supermarkets as well, so you don't need to travel too far to buy your groceries as well. So because Queen Mary is like a campus based university, everything is so close. So it's great that you can just walk two minutes to your friend's accommodation and you'll always feel connected because of how it's a campus university and the student life is just really colourful and vibrant, yeah. Okay, so it sounds like the social life balance is really kind of there and that, that's really good because a lot, like you said at the start, that's a major consideration for me and I know a lot of everyone watching or a lot of people watching have that concern but they don't think they're going to get that balance. But in addition to kind of the social life balance, do you find that if there's any kind of opportunities to have like a part-time job? Is there kind of things like that that are there? Yeah, absolutely. So this is one of the things that I really, really like about Queen Mary and is that they always prepare you for going into work and we always get emails as well actually with new opportunities that are available for us to apply for. So when I was in first year I actually applied for the role of a physics student ambassador and essentially what we do is go to secondary schools and we talk to students about potentially studying physics at either sixth form or university and there's also loads of vacancies on the Queen Mary website so if you just go and have a look you'll see that there's loads of different vacancies for jobs available on campus. So some examples are you could work in the coffee shop that literally everyone goes to. It's always full, always really nice place to go to. Yeah, to be fair, I think that that's quite a nice idea to have just all of those jobs available on the campus because then you don't have to go around seeking things like, say, in London, in the city, because yeah. I can imagine it's quite hard to find part-time jobs and things there. So that takes a bit of the stress off. And as well, you don't have to commute, so that's just kind of a bit yeah. of extra yeah. time saved. <laughs> so that's quite good. Um, on the topic of kind of work and stuff then, do you find that there's lots of opportunities for things like internships and paid placements or like a year out, things like that? Yeah, definitely. So one of the courses that Queen Mary offer along like with your degree is actually a year placement of working. So it's, I think it's called a year in industry. So if you choose that one, you can actually take a year in between your studies to actually work, which is great if you really want to have your work experience and also like Queen Mary always send us emails with different work opportunities available for us so literally there's always going to be an opportunity and you can also talk to the advisors as well and they will also give you advice they can check your CV for you as well and you can also book interview meetings with them so you can practice before your real interview. But, yeah to be fair, that's really helpful because with those placement years I feel like it's really good at preparing you for kind of work after university and a lot of students yeah. aren't really prepared for that they kind of come out of their degree and go straight into work with kind of like more student development and things like that are there any opportunities to actually study abroad and kind of take your experience to international levels yeah there, there actually is so Queen Mary is so great because you can actually also do a course which allows you to do a placement year abroad so you can either do one semester or I think you can also do two semesters and I know people that have done it it's just great because you can study abroad in a different country and you can also learn more about their cultures and how universities are different there compared to Queen Mary so it really allows you to I guess broaden your horizons um, and really see what life is like as well outside of London so yeah, if you were thinking of perhaps taking a year abroad, you can definitely do that at Queen Mary because we've got lots of partnered uh, universities. Yeah, so it sounds like you've got quite a broad experience range. So you do loads of things from kind of like the actual course itself to like paperwork experience and things to kind of expand your horizons in essence. Yeah. Obviously, that and a lot of unis, a big thing is that sudden change. It does feel quite daunting for some students yeah. and a lot of people have kind of different social standings so a lot of people like to go out and a lot of people kind of don't so do you have kind of like support for those students that maybe find it a bit more difficult to fit in or difficult to settle into a new place with new faces and new things to do? Yeah so often I guess a big struggle for students is the transition from school and sick form to university because for the first time you're probably not living at home you're probably living out and you've got so many new things to think about like buying your food and doing your laundry and all that type of stuff which I guess you kind of take for granted at home so there's actually a program called the buddy scheme and essentially if you're in first year you can be paired up with I believe a second year or a third year and they're kind of like your buddy so if you ever need advice you can talk to them and they can kind of be like your mentor and kind of just be there to hold your hand and guide you through the first year or whenever you need support really. Yeah, I can imagine that's quite helpful as well because you've always got that kind of person to talk to. Yeah. 
big thing as well with university, but also at the moment in the pandemic, is mental health is a bit all over the place because you've got loads of stress from school, you've got loads of stress from just uh, staying in touch with people. And I guess that's kind of like a way to alleviate that a little bit, make it a bit yeah. better. Brilliant. I think I would describe Queen Mary to be a very vibrant, energetic and inclusive community which really, really actually cares for their students. Okay, that's brilliant. Alright, thanks for that, Elvia. That was really helpful. Thank you. I'm hoping a lot of the um, people watching have found that really good. So now since we're all at home and you weren't really able to visit universities in person, how did that affect your application process to universities? Yeah, um, okay, so at the moment the application process, or with COVID, it's really... It's not the greatest because obviously when you're looking at universities you kind of want to go and visit them to assess the vibe of the university and whether you actually want to spend the next three, four, five years of your life there. Um, so that's quite hard to do from just reading through all of kind of like the course specifications, the stats of the uni and student reviews. It gives you like a good picture but doesn't really shape like your whole understanding of the uni. Mm -hmm. What I have found really helpful over the kind of last six months or so that I've been looking at unis is these virtual open days. So you go on, you look at the website of different unis and you can kind of literally see the whole campus. A lot of them have like 3D tours and things like that. And you can go into all of the facilities and things for the different unis. But what I did notice with a lot of the universities and a lot of these virtual open days is they didn't actually go much in depth into the facilities that they have. And as a mechanical engineering perspective student, that's quite an important thing for me. Mm -hmm. I need to kind of see what facilities they have and what's going to be on offer to me. Yeah, so Queen Mary actually have these on-demand campus tours, which mean you can literally see the whole campus from the comfort of your house and they cover different things, so different subject areas. We've also got a campus tour video, so if you want to explore the campus, you can just watch that. It also shows you student support services and different accommodations that you can apply for. And if you want to know about your course and the structure in more detail, you can just go onto the Queen Mary website, which we will both have linked in our description boxes down below, and it will basically just lead you to the course and entry requirements and different modules that you may undertake in that course as well so you can actually have a great knowledge of your course before you actually go into your course so there's no shocks or anything like that. Okay so for all of you thinking of applying to different unis the deadline is the same at all of the others that is the 15th of January and you can apply with the code Q50 that's the institution code then you have your code itself. And if you've actually already sat your exams and you've got the grades needed for the course, you will actually get an unconditional offer from Queen Mary for your place starting next academic year. I didn't actually realise that it goes from a conditional to an unconditional when you have your results, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's everything, isn't it? So we talked about a lot of student life, a lot of things. So thanks for that, Elvia. That was really yeah. helpful. Thank you for the chat as well. And if you do have any questions that we didn't answer in our little Q&A session, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I guess we can answer them. Thanks for that. Okay, bye. bye. If you have made it this far through the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope we have answered all the questions that you had in mind and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.